So every day, in some way or another, I fail to keep one of my goals. It could be something simple like not getting my sleep in check or failing to keep to my YouTube schedule. Or it could be that I didn't confront this person about an important issue. That's okay though, we shouldn't expect a 100% success rate at everything we do, but we should expect to get better at it. So what small change can you make to help achieve your goals? Well, in psychology, there's one tip that stands out in terms of uniqueness and the amount of scientific backing. It's called implementation intentions, aka the if-then plan. Here's how it goes. Normally, when we have a goal, we tend to think about it like this. I want to achieve X. So I want to be healthier or I want to have more money. The implementation intention is only a small tweak to this. It goes, if situation Y happens, then I will do X. So if it's 7 a.m. on Monday, then I'll jog outside for 30 minutes. Or when I get my paycheck, then I will first put 10% into savings. Notice how the goal suddenly got a lot more practical. The key is to hinge your desired action on a situational cue, such as a certain time, a location, or an event. Now, this only takes a few minutes to write up, yet the research is quite convincing. A meta-analysis of 94 different studies found that having an if-then plan significantly improved participants' success rates across a variety of goals. Just to name a few, it's helped people exercise more, be more environmentally friendly, and better cope with fear. I've linked these studies in the description below. Surprisingly, it even helps drug addicts who have withdrawal to focus on everyday tasks. But why does it work? Well, for one, the if-then plan means that you're now looking out for situational cues. As a result, you become more aware of opportunities in your surroundings. But most importantly, this plan guides you at your critical moments. These are the times when you need to just do it. Like when you wake up and are deciding between going back to sleep or heading out to gym. Here, the implementation intention gives a very clear, very straightforward direction. It's 7am, so you have to exercise. This type of certainty about what to do makes it easier for us to carry through with our plans. Now, there are three ways of making the if-then plan more effective. Firstly, be specific and realistic about the cues and behaviors in your if-then plan. This just ties into the last point about having a clear path to follow. Secondly, yes, the if-then plan has been shown to be useful on average. However, its effectiveness will still obviously vary depending on your goal. For example, there's lots of evidence that it helps with exercise goals. However, it's not so helpful at breaking bad habits. So, Google implementation intention plus your goal to see what the evidence looks like. But the best thing you can do is to pair them with coping plans. Coping plans are the specific things you plan to do when you encounter an obstacle. In fact, they follow the exact same format as an if-then plan. If obstacle Y occurs, then I will do X to overcome it. So let's say your goal was to exercise more. One of your coping plans might be, if I'm feeling tired, then I only have to force myself to step outside in fitness gear. What's great about it is that it forces us to be realistic and figure out what obstacles we'll eventually have to deal with. As proof, researchers use these plans to get cardiac patients exercising. Here's the results. This is how much exercise the control subjects did. Here's what you get with implementation intentions. And here's what you get with the added coping plans. That's pretty much a doubling of exercising compared to the control. The best part is, when you measure how serious they were about exercising, each group had the same level of intention. This sample of participants all had heart problems and had just come out of rehab as well. They all desperately wanted to be healthier people. Yet it was the if-then and coping plans that ultimately turned these goals into action. Now, this stuff won't propel you to a 100% success rate, so let's get that clear. But it will give you a boost when you're lacking willpower. So, if you ever need a kickstart, write down an if-then plan. In the comment section below, tell me one small change you've had that's made a big difference in your life. And thanks for watching this video.